start with contracting sprites. Chapter 381, Dark Society Killer, Sudden Assessment In front of him, countless flame pillars spewed out. Every flame pillar contained extreme fire elements. The long rivers of lava interweaved like fire dragons and finally gathered in the flowing lava pool at the core. Even sprites who weren't good at sensing could discover that this was a land full of treasure. The air here was filled with dense fire elemental particles, and there were many precious materials in sight. But no one tried to pick the treasure up. The ten applicants were not just ordinary master level and were pretty well off financially. Of course, in the presence of the inspector, they weren't going to randomly pick up the treasure on the ground. It made Butterfly a little frustrated. If you all act like this, how am I supposed to pick up the treasure? These people are no good, they aren't good with money at all, they are all unqualified, gurgle. There are definitely wild sprites in such a precious land. Let my sprite look around first. A tall woman spoke. Her sprite was a burning-eyed fire fox. Its long and narrow eyes were staring intently at the lava pool in the center. Its four claws were on the ground, and it was preparing to approach the sprite that had probed out of the pool. But, before she could give the order, Su Hao waved his hand. No need to waste time, it's just a small lava giant. As Su Han spoke, golden flames emerged from the dazed crow's body and interweaved. Some of the flames covered its wings, turning into two golden battle sabers, while the other flames attached to its body, turning into a golden flaming feather gown. The next moment, the crow turned into a golden stream of light and pounced onto the lava pool, splashing countless sparks. Weren't they supposed to follow protocol and test out the waters first? Wasn't this a little too reckless? Many people had the same thoughts, but just as their thoughts emerged, boom! On the huge lava pool, a pillar of flames exploded into the sky, and a huge reddish brown body flew out of the pillar. It's a wild lava giant. This huge lava giant fell to the ground, its eyes filled with anger. It roared, and the next moment, Crow's figure appeared in front of the lava giant like lightning and slashed out golden light. Boom! Golden waves of fire exploded, and the lava giant flew back more than a hundred meters, sinking into a shallow pool of lava. Blazing red liquid splashed, but this time, the lava giant couldn't stand up again. It had already fainted, and its aura was like a candle in the wind. Let it faint now. I'll deal with it when we leave. After the strongest lava giant was dealt with, Su Hao handed the other small lava monsters to the applicants who were eager to perform. Very soon. Su Hao started to set up the venue for the dazed crow's advancement. Are we preparing, an advanced ritual? I see. The test the inspector gave us is to protect the advancement process of the flaming spirit crow. After all, this place is in the wild and is known to be dangerous. Once the advancement ritual is disturbed, it's very likely to fail at the last step. One of the applicants thought so, feeling that he had already grasped the assessment. Under the control of Butterfly's mental strength, the whole ritual venue was quickly set up. The dazed crow took out the last advanced main ingredient, flaming crown. This was a crown-shaped treasure that could either be big or small. It was solidified by flames. At this moment, it was being held in the crow's mouth. With a flick of its beak, flaming crown landed steadily on its head. Instantly. The entire crown was connected to the crow, and the flames and aura on the dazed crow changed slightly. Go! Complete your transformation. Squawk. The dazed crow flew out directly, its figure disappearing into the blazing lava pool. The advancement ritual began. When holding an advanced ritual in the dangerous wild, naturally, equipment that isolated energy dissipation couldn't be brought along it wasn't impossible to bring such equipment along either. The Gankun in the shadow could bring all kinds of cumbersome equipment, but with sophisticated equipment placed here, it could very easily be destroyed by the environment. It was also troublesome to protect. Su Hao decided not to bring it along. 
there was no need for him to prepare too much for the concentration of energy here. He already had plenty of natural energy here. Very soon. A commotion started coming from the huge lava pool. The hot lava surface spewed and countless flame pillars sprayed out. The flame pillars danced, interweaved, and entangled like fire dragons, gradually forming a huge fiery red light cocoon. Half of it was exposed on the lava pool, while the other half was submerged under the hot lava. Seizing the opportunity, Butterfly moved many supplementary materials and flew to the side of the huge red light cocoon. The light on the supplementary materials dimmed visibly. The energy and spirituality contained in them were all being absorbed. The aura in the lava pool also gradually rose. Hot flames spread out in circles. The dazzling light gradually released. The red light enveloped 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters, 800 meters. This was the first time many people present had seen such a scene and such power. They were secretly surprised. The few people who had seen the advanced ritual before were even more surprised and bewildered. The scene at this moment seemed to be grander than what they had seen before. It was very likely related to the strength of the sprites. Was this the trump card of the top genius of the Union? The advancement ritual continued. The aura of the dazed crow gradually rose. In its originally hostile aura, there was an additional domineering aura that pressed forward with indomitable will. Sun Warrior, unparalleled. The terrifying energy brought by the sun advancement, combined with the crow's battle techniques and single-point attacks, definitely added up to more than the sum of its whole. This was the most suitable advancement for the dazed crow's current development path. At this moment, the red light had already reached a thousand meters away from the huge cocoon, and its power spread countless kilometers away. It made many wild sprites in the lava fire cave tremble, but it also attracted some extraordinary sprites to have a look. Unfortunately, even Ange Rouse regions like the lava fire cave didn't have many wild extraordinary sprites either. It made the applicants who were eager to perform feel very helpless. It was similar to how a group of graduate students would feel it if they were given an assessment with only high school difficulty. What should we do? They were thinking. Su so Hao was also thinking. At this moment, the dazed crow's advancement ritual was already on track. Su so Hao planned to take some time out and give the applicants a challenge. However, what kind of challenge could filter out the talents he wanted? He thought. Butterfly, who was sleeping on its head, still gurgled softly. A scene unfolded in his mind. Su so Hao's eyes lit up, and he coughed dryly. When the ten people looked over, he finally said. You should be wondering what the assessment is about. Now, I can tell you that the real assessment is about to begin. When they heard this. The reflective surface of the young man's glasses, which made him look like a geek, reflected a bit of light. A hint of seriousness and concentration appeared in the eyes of the cold-faced stoic young man. The short young man, the tall woman, the mixed blood were all excited as well. All the sprite trainers couldn't help but be curious, excited, and expectant. The inspector's gaze was deep as he looked at the distant horizon. Right now, in the lava fire cave, there are sprite trainers from the Dark Society searching for our traces. The test I'm giving you is to deal with the powerful enemies from the Dark Society, let me see just how capable you are. Chapter 382 Monarch rank, is that all you got? What? The ten applicants were stunned. They were not unfamiliar with the Dark Society at all, but why were there members of the Dark Society here in the Lava Fire Cave, and why were they even targeting them? That's right, right now, I'm the target of the Dark Society Sprite Trainers, Su Hao said nonchalantly, not feeling the slightest bit nervous about the members of the Dark Society chasing after him. This. Some people felt that the inspector was very bold. They thought that he had actually used himself as bait to lure out a batch of dark society experts. Some people also felt that the situation was too crazy. Especially under such circumstances, he even leisurely included the dark society assassins in their assessment. 
it was impossible for them not to have slight changes in expression, and Su Hao used this opportunity to observe. Among the ten people, a sprite trainer named Tang Song quickly regained his composure. He thought for a moment and quickly said, Our priority now is to find out the enemy's strength as well as their location. Since the Dark Society dares to do something so bold, they must be very strong, and they, they should also know our numbers. Right now, we only have two advantages. First, they don't know that their tracks have already been discovered by the inspector. Second, we came here half a day earlier and have already walked through many places. We are familiar with the terrain and have some geographical advantages. We have to make full use of them. As for commanding, although Tang Song was experienced, he wasn't too persistent on getting the others to follow him. After all, they were all just team members. Besides, given the circumstances that they were all competitors, the others wouldn't want to obey his commands either. They seem to be doing all right. There aren't any brainless people who are rushing to kill the enemies for credit. Su Hao thought to himself. Although Su Hao would be quick to eliminate such a person, it was not likely for someone like that to be here in the first place. After all, that would mean that Su Hao had poor taste and had chosen the applicants poorly. Su Hao didn't intend to make a move, but he wasn't just going to watch idly either. The big fat bear had already put on its thunder god battle armor and was thrown into the lava pool as a defense line to protect the evolution light cocoon. Butterfly's dazed radar remained upright, constantly checking the strength of the Dark Society members in a very concealed manner. It even projected the information into Su Hao's mind in the form of a 3D image. Butterfly battlefield observation was indeed awesome. The sprites of the applicants were also busy making preparations or getting armored up. A flying sprite restrained its aura and then spread its wings and flew into the sky. There was also an earth element sprite searching for traces of the enemy by sensing the veins of the earth. Lin Chi, who looked like a geek, adjusted his expensive high-tech glasses. An invisible electronic signal spread, and the digital flying dragon beside him also let out a low growl. Its body instantly dissipated into countless pieces of codes, integrating into the invisible electronic signal. After a while, there are 15 Dark Society sprite trainers. At least 35 extraordinary sprites. And among them, there's very likely to be pseudo-monarch rank existences. This information shocked them. Be it in terms of numbers or battle power, their enemies were much stronger than them. And it didn't seem like the inspector had any intention of taking action either. Oh, I get it. The inspector wants to use this opportunity to observe our performance under pressure despite the risk. Risk? If they had asked Su so Hao, he would tell them that there are naturally risks involved. However, he wasn't worried that the applicants would be crippled, causing their overall strength to decrease. The only thing he feared was, was that some of the weaker sprites would be beaten to death by the sprite trainers of the Dark Society. However, he poked Butterfly. I believe you. Gurgle. Why do you always rely on me? At this moment, more than ten sprite trainers from the Dark Society were slowly moving forward in the lava fire cave. Leading them was an officer whose skin had turned dark from the sun. The blackened officer said in a low voice, All of us have identities in the Union. When we leave, we still have to pass through the entrance of Red Rock Town. Therefore, there can't be any mistakes in this operation. Every person and every sprite must be taken care of. In his opinion, with so many experts mobilizing, he was completely confident in their ability to kill a genius of the Union who was still developing. The only risk was that some of the sprites might escape. By then, it was very likely that Red Rock Town would be sealed off, and their chances of being pursued by the experts of the Union would also increase. If that happened, their situation would also change. Not only could they no longer receive the Union's salary, but they would also lose countless benefits from the Dark Society. Their carefree and happy days would be over. The others were also aware of this and thus had already spread out a few sprites and sealed a few key positions. There are sprites watching us, and not just wild sprites. 
It looks like this genius of the Union is pretty good after all. He actually discovered us. A sprite trainer from the Dark Society looked up and vaguely saw a small black dot in the sky. In the blink of an eye, the black dot disappeared again. The Dark Society team continued to move forward. The environment of the lava fire cave made them extra careful. At this moment. Boom. The mountain rocks exploded, and more than twenty sprites rushed out of the thick black smoke with their respective killer moves blasting forward. The Dark Society sprites also counter-attacked instantly. At the center of the lava fire cave, in the treasure land where lava gathered. Tang Song, Lin Chi and the other applicants had not left the area, but they ordered their sprites to charge to the front line and ambush the enemies. In this way, the sprites could freely advance or retreat without having to worry about the safety of the burdensome sprite trainers. Apart from the sprite trainers, there were also three extraordinary sprites left here. These sprites served as their backup, in case some dark society sprites broke through the defense line and started attacking them. Lin Qi Digital Flying Dragon had now returned to its physical form and remained alert in the air. It wasn't strong and was even a bit weak but at least it could help observe the battlefield and transmit information. It's a little bad, Lin Qi said. Even if we have the element of surprise, it's still very difficult for us to match these Dark Society sprite trainers. They simply have too many high-level extraordinary sprites. Now, we can only rely on the geographical advantage and fight while we retreat. As Lin Qi spoke, he looked at Su Hao. Seeing that the inspector's expression was still calm, and then recalling some information that he had found out earlier, Lin Qi was able to relax a little. The others, however, couldn't. They kept looking over to where their sprites were. Nervousness, anxiety, worry, and other emotions surfaced on their faces. Suddenly, the ground exploded, and a black light shot out from the ground. Careful, someone shouted. The black light's target was the inspector standing there with his arms crossed, but none of them knew what method was used for it to be able to bypass their guard. Whoosh! The water kylan that was guarding in front of the inspector raised its hooves high, and a circle of black ripples suddenly spread. The bodies of the water kylan and the eternal night glory concubine suddenly froze. A doctor wolf who was trying to help pounced back and was immediately covered by the black light shield. It kept trembling, startling its sprite trainer. So scary, what kind of sprite are we dealing with? As the black light spread, the figures of the sprites were also revealed. There were two sprites in total. One was a relatively common sand earthworm dragon. However, the body of this particular earthworm that flew out of the ground was only two meters long. Despite this, the aura it released clearly indicated that it was a high-level extraordinary. The other sprite was even stranger. Its body, the size of a school bag, floated in mid-air. It looked like a tattered doll, but it was in a translucent state. Dark Element Sprite Evil Spirit Baby Moreover, it was a pseudo-monarch rank Evil Spirit Baby. It instantly froze the water kylan, Eternal Night Glory Concubine, Dr. Wolf, and the other sprites. The Evil Spirit Baby was currently also unable to attack. However, the Sand Earthworm Dragon had already arrived in front of the inspector. There was also a man in black clothes holding two laser swords in his hands as he slashed towards the protective screen. Buzz. Buzz. Ripples appeared on the barrier. Su so Hao thought for a moment. What kind of dark technology is this? The destruction of the sprite commandeering protection should only be possible when it's done by a pseudo-monarch sprite. Of course, this was partly because the assassin in black wasn't weak himself, but... The laser sword slashed over. A terrifying energy was also brewing in the earthworm's mouth. At this moment, Butterfly, which was lying on the throne above Su Hao's head, yawned and flicked its little hand. Buzz. The special black light secret manual shattered. Not far away, Dr. Wolf collapsed to the ground. Dumb Unicorn and Fufu's aura erupted. They each targeted a sprite and kept chasing and fighting. 
the laser sword that slashed down was also interrupted by a palm. Su Hao's palm. A black energy circulated in his palm as Su Hao squeezed gently. Crack. The laser sword created with unknown technology turned into countless fragments. The assassin still held the other sword in his palm. He didn't know if he should slash or not. I've been cheated by the dark society. Boom. Rumble. In the lava fire cave, huge battles broke out in many areas. Energy storms raged, and the wild sprites trembled. A Luhan panda punched out with its iron fist, blasting a white sonic boom cloud, causing the shell of a giant armored crab to cave in. Just as it was about to attack again, it saw the injured giant armored crab being pulled by a force, disappearing into the thick smoke in the blink of an eye. The Union's sprites escaped again. They won't be able to escape for long. What we need to do now is to fight steadily and continuously shrink the encirclement so that not a single sprite can escape. The few battles ended with the retreat of the Union sprites. Many of the applicants' sprites were already injured. Of course, many of the Dark Society's sprites were also heavily injured and lost their battle power, but these were mostly relatively weak sprites. The main forces of the three Dark Society officers maintained a comparable battle power. If they fight to the death and tear through our encirclement, maybe a few of them can still escape. But as of now, they don't stand a chance. The blackened officer looked into the distance at the light cocoon behind the target. This is what you get for being too greedy. You're about to die, and you're still trying to get your sprite to complete its evolution? Tisk, tisk, tisk. The Dark Society's sprites approached step by step. The sprites of the applicants, the ones that were in slightly better condition, were deployed outside. The injured ones were currently receiving treatment in the inner circle. Fufu shot out a beam of white light and entered the body of one of the injured sprites, then flew out and entered the bodies of other sprites. Like a chain of light, it connected all the injured sprites in an instant. At the end of the chain was Fufu's palm, and its energy was constantly outputting. Before long, the dispirited aura of the injured sprites gradually recovered. One of the applicants, who was a medic, was also taking out many supplements at this moment to help the sprites recover their spiritual force and physical strength. I get it now. The reason why the inspector doesn't care about our injuries is because of the outstanding medical support. In just a short while, our sprites' battle power has recovered by more than half. With the help of a powerful inspector, it won't be difficult to deal with these Dark Society members. The reason why the inspector didn't take action in the beginning was because this was still an assessment. He probably also wanted to give us a chance to train. Many nervous and worried interviewers immediately felt relieved when they thought of this. But they had misread the inspector's intentions. Su so Hao. He was speechless. The applicants remained still but the sprite trainer from the Dark Society wasn't going to delay any longer. Kill that white sprite. A certain officer who had no culture and knew nothing about the Eternal Night Glory concubine could only call Fufu a white sprite. Dozens of extraordinary and terrifying auras erupted. A few sprites that were fast and good at assassination took advantage of the chaos and turned into streams of light to circle around and kill Fufu. Their blades were sharp. Blazing flames burned. The officers of the Dark Society are all quasi-heavenly kings or top-notch masters. It's impossible to defeat them with just our sprites. It wasn't that the applicants were weak, but most of them were just too young and only in their thirties. They were still developing. The sprites' development level and quantity were all inferior to that of the Dark Society by quite a bit. At this moment, the water kylan was suppressing the evil spirit baby and Fufu was in charge of treatment. The big fat bear soaked pitifully in the lava pool. And so. Hu hu hu. Suddenly, waves of cold wind appeared, covering the dancing flames in the sky, instantly turning the whole area cold. The sprites that had just flown in front of the eternal night glory concubine froze. A sprite wearing a crown and a black robe had appeared in front of them at some point. It stretched out its hand and grabbed their necks and limbs like an eagle pinching a chick. Shadow energy spread, 
and a few sprites were thrown out like tattered cloth bags. They struggled and couldn't move at once. What? The Dark Society sprite trainer was stunned. But before they could react, the black-robed sprite appeared in the center of the battlefield, its figure constantly moving like a ghost. Dark Society sprites fell straight down one by one. The unique skill that the Dark Society sprites shot out from the battlefield and its violent energy impact didn't cause any obstruction to the black-robed sprite at all. It seemed as though it was indestructible. Such a terrifying sprite not only terrified the sprite trainers of the Dark Society, it also stunned the applicants. This sprite, they had clearly never seen it on their way here. But it was terrifyingly strong. Even a pseudo-monarch could be heavily injured by it in a few moves. So that's how it is. This is where the inspector's calm and confidence lies. A single sprite of his is enough to fight an army of thousands. What kind of sprite is this? A monarch? No, it seems to only be a pseudo-monarch. The applicant's morale soared. The elusive Yama Ghost King made the situation more difficult for the Dark Society members, and they even quickly fell into a disadvantage. Some of them even started shouting words like it's only a pseudo-monarch. But their words couldn't affect the outcome. In just two minutes, the ghost figure killed and heavily injured eight extraordinary beings, including two pseudo-monarchs. The already disadvantaged Dark Society members immediately fell apart and scattered. The applicants took advantage of this and chased after him. Suddenly, a shocking pressure descended. The space was almost frozen. A sprite shaped like steel armor appeared, and inch by inch, steel wings spread out behind its back. Steel God Soldier With its newly sprouted steel wings, the steel god soldier flew over from afar. Its pair of steel wings opened and closed, as if it was piercing through space. Grayish gold light flashed past as it targeted the Yama Ghost King that was chasing the other sprites. At this moment, only then did everyone finally realize that a monarch rank existence had appeared. Shock and despair befell the applicants. The inspector was done for this time. They started thinking that they shouldn't have participated in this good-for-nothing interview. Some of the applicants' faces had already turned ferocious, but most of them still cast their hopes and gazes at the inspector at this moment. The inspector's expression. It was still calm. There was even a hint of mockery. As if to say, is that it? Boom. The grey gold light slashed down, and the ground cracked inch by inch. The cracks spread for more than a hundred meters. However, amidst the smoke and dust, a black figure suddenly flew out. Shadow energy lingered, and nomological marks appeared on its forehead. Its crown flickered, and its black robe flapped. In an instant, it arrived in front of the steel god soldier. Its black ghost claws tore through the air and collided with the fist surrounded by the grey gold light of the steel god soldier. Boom! The black-robed figure retreated dozens of meters. However, the steel god soldier was also knocked back quite a distance. Su Hao shook his head slightly. Monarch rank, is that all you got? Chapter 383, Breaking Through in Battle, Ghost Descends A few months ago, when they were fighting the sand earthworm dragon, Ayan was already a pseudo-monarch. Although it was still a pseudo-monarch, its battle power was now much larger. It had only been a year since Yama Ghost King was born, and it was only a one-year-old baby. How could it not have developed after a few months? At this moment, Ayan's nomological mark appeared, and its black robe flapped. An ordinary ghost claw appeared in his hand like the claw of a demon god that covered the sky, almost tearing space apart. Under the collision, the steel god soldier with the might of a monarch was forced back. This scene made everyone's eyes widen. Whether it was the eyes of the sprite trainers from the Dark Society or the eyes of the applicants. Who among them had ever seen a pseudo-monarch fight head-on with a monarch? Even top-level sprites known to be invincible against pseudo-monarchs could only barely survive against real monarchs. It was already very impressive that a sprite could survive at all. It must be that the Steel God Soldier has yet to use its full strength. 
the sprite trainers of the Dark Society thought. The Steel God soldier indeed had yet to unleash its full power. Seeing that it had been blocked by a weak sprite, it was also quite embarrassed. And even though its head was a steel helmet and it had no expression, there was still a repressed aura spreading out. A wisp of grayish gold light lingered. When faced with such an existence, the other metal element sprites couldn't help but let out a whimper of submission. Steel Wing Slash This strike was similar to the Crow's Slash. A grayish gold light dozens of meters long whistled as it tore through the air. Even from hundreds of meters away, all the sprites could feel the sharp aura. It felt as painful as when a solidified weapon scratched one's face. But at this moment, the target of the gray gold light, the black robed sprite suspended in the air, had no intention of dodging. It could dodge but it changed its usual tactics instead. The shadow mark became brighter and brighter, and the black smoke cloud started enveloping its surroundings, its aura constantly rising. Ayan felt that this was its opportunity. It was an opportunity to break through. With this battle, its body, energy, and spirit would completely fuse together and it would be able to break through directly. It could be able to break through at least ten days earlier. Who? The wind howled. The shadow seemed fierce. Mosaic ghosts appeared one after another behind Ayan, lined up, and raised their right hands in unison. Shadow energy lingered, and the black ghost claws tore forward. Ghost claws and ghost shadows overlapped, and black smoke covered the sky. Boom! The ghost claw managed to grab onto the crescent-shaped grey-gold light. However, the grey gold light was also constantly tearing apart the huge ghost claw. Countless dense shadow energy spread out from the spot where the ghost claw was being torn. The whole sky became even darker. They were clearly in the lava fire cave, but everyone only felt a cold aura rising up from the solace of their feet to rush into the sky. Their protective halos were also fidgeting. Just the aura alone was unbearable. However, the grey gold light and huge ghost claw were locked in a stalemate again. The deadlock was especially obvious. Many sprite trainers of the Dark Society looked at the Steel God soldier with reverence and a hint of doubt. It was as if they were wondering the same thing Su Hao had just wondered. Monarch rank, is that all you got? This Steel God soldier is indeed, a little embarrassing for monarch rank. It's even worse than the Sand Earthworm Dragon back then. So how could tell at a glance the reason why the Steel God Soldier was weak? Its advancement direction was wrong. The Steel God Soldier was a metal element sprite that was good at defense and attack at the same time. The common cultivation directions for such a sprite included Iron Fist Flowing Steel God Soldier, Body Flowing Steel God Soldier, Martial Skill Flowing Steel God Soldier, and so on. The Steel God Soldier armor in front of him was trained pretty well. It was very likely that it had walked the Iron Fist style in the past. However, during the advancement, a pair of steel wings evolved, and that ended up becoming the strongest part of the Steel God Soldier. One had to know that the Steel God Soldier itself could already fly without the wings. In order for the sprite to develop the steel wings, it would have to give up on the original Iron Fist style tactics. Maintaining the old tactical system, on the other hand, would waste the advantage it gained from advancing. So, choosing a path that suits sprites during advancement is very, very important. Of course. This Steel God Soldier could still be saved. Although it couldn't take the path of the fist nor could it take the path of the wings, it could still develop a two-handed, double-edged sword-style tactic that could be used in close combat. In that case, despite still not having a single strong direction, at the very least, it could unleash all the advantages of the steel-winged steel god soldier. The steel god soldier was a little spiritless, but it was still a real monarch rank nonetheless. With a wave of its wings, grayish gold light was slashed down once again. The aftershock of the explosion split the surrounding rocks apart. Lava flowed, and only the black smoke that covered the sky remained intact. The advancement ritual of the crow continued to proceed. In the sky, Two figures one grey gold and the other ghostly kept exchanging blows. 
Rumbling sounds kept coming as circles of aftershock spread. From the looks of it, the Steel God soldier was ultimately a monarch rank, so it had a slight advantage. The grey gold light gradually tore apart the huge ghost claw. But. Everyone's eyes were still wide open. Especially the Dark Society blackened officer. He had two pseudo monarchs, but, they wouldn't last a second against a monarch. If a sprite was able to survive against a monarch, it already meant that the sprite was a top level pseudo monarch. And yet Su Hao's pseudo monarch was able to fight a monarch with only a slight disadvantage. It didn't make sense. The monarch power and destructive power of the Steel God Soldier are very real. The black robed sprite must be a disguised monarch for it to be able to resist it so well. It's definitely just a monarch pretending to be a pseudo monarch. It wasn't just the sprite trainers of the Dark Society who had such thoughts. Many applicants also had the same thoughts. After all, only monarchs could fight monarchs. But. Its aura seems to be strengthened again. Why do I have a feeling that the black-robed sprite is about to, break through? Break through to the monarch realm. At this moment. The black smoke that shrouded the sky became thicker and thicker. Even the dazzling grey-gold light gradually drowned in the dense shadow. In the violent explosion, countless black smoke spread out like a black storm. Everyone saw that the ghost claw that stretched out was starting to become even more terrifying. It actually managed to crush the grey-gold light, and the remaining tattered ghost claw continued to tear forward. At the same time, the howling storm gradually became different. Countless energy particles gathered in between heaven and earth, with the shadow element being the most dominant element. Is it really going to break through? Impossible. Even if one can break through in battle, without a proper setup or sufficient spiritual energy, its breakthrough will still end up stopping halfway. Someone looked at the red cocoon of light. There were also countless elemental particles gathering there, surging like a fiery red river. At this moment, under the influence of the black-robed sprite's breakthrough, some fiery red elements flew into the sky. But... The ritual venue is set up with fire element spiritual jades, and the black robed sprite is a ghost element sprite. Even if it can absorb a portion of fire element spiritual energy, that would still only be a drop in the bucket. Contrary to what they thought, the black robed sprite in the sky started to shake again, and the fiery red elements flying towards it started returning one after another. The whole sprite even flew forward hitting the steel god soldier until the metal sprite couldn't help but retreat. At the same time, the black-robed sprite also flew out of the evolution field. I get it now, it knows that it can't break through, so it doesn't want to affect the evolution of the flaming spirit crow. One of the applicants verbalized his analysis and many others agreed with him. But if the black-robed sprite fails to complete the breakthrough, its soaring aura would gradually decline, and it would once again lose its advantage. It was even possible that the black robe sprite would lose the battle due to being affected by the failure of the breakthrough. Thinking of this, the applicants became anxious again. Boom. Rumble. The battle in the sky continued on. Just the aftershock alone was enough to mess up the whole lava fire cave. The sprite trainers of the Dark Society were also waiting for the result of the battle. The sullen steel god soldier was also eager to find out who would win. It was waiting for the aura of the black-robed sprite to weaken so that it could showcase its monarch power. The sullen steel god soldier was also waiting. When the aura of the black-robed sprite weakened, it would be the time to showcase its monarch power. It thought. Its sprite trainer also had the same thoughts. Relying on its defensive power, the Steel God Soldier kept resisting the powerful attacks of the black-robed sprite to stall for time. One second passed. Ten seconds passed. Thirty seconds. One hundred seconds. The shadow elements between heaven and earth were still swarming and gathering. The aura of the black-robed sprite was also rising steadily. The nomological mark on its forehead glowed, and the ghost claws it tore out became increasingly terrifying. The mosaic ghost shadows behind the black-robed sprite also started becoming stronger. The steel god soldier was stunned. 
A terrifying ghost claw tore apart the grey gold light and swept past its body, leaving several clear black claw marks on its armor. At the same time. Boom. The shadow elements within a radius of several kilometers were swept away. The Yama Ghost King's aura, which had risen to its limit, finally broke through the barrier, turning it from a pseudo-monarch aura to a real monarch. Terrifying monarch pressure descended. All the shadow elements in the world suddenly submitted. In the sky, an area which was several kilometers long and more than ten kilometers wide suddenly turned dark. A black curtain had enveloped the sky. Chapter 384, Inspector's Order, Seal the Realm What happened? Why is the sky suddenly dark? Is it going to rain? That can't be right. It shouldn't be so dark even on a rainy day. Besides, this is the Red Rock Town area. It usually doesn't rain here. Outside the lava fire cave, many sprite trainers were bewildered. Some sprites with sharp senses whimpered and cowered, feeling that a terrifying existence was about to appear. The spread of the monarch's might, on the other hand, wasn't very wide. The people outside the lava fire cave couldn't sense it, but... At the scene, the applicants and Dark Society sprite trainers in the core area started to feel the dark sky pressing down on them with the weight of a mountain. Many sprites looked at the black-robed figure in the center of the elemental storm and couldn't help but have the urge to kneel down and kowtow to it. All of the other ghost element sprites really did kneel down on the spot. They couldn't resist at all. Compared to the steel god soldier, the black-robed sprite standing high in the sky with a crown on its head was a true monarch. It was like a supreme existence descending into the mortal world, like a ghost king overlooking the world. The black screen had now enveloped the sky. Ayan, which had just broken through to monarch rank, had an aura that was still slowly increasing. Countless people widened their eyes in disbelief. In a place the others couldn't see, the energy of shadow spirit jade of different sizes was sucked out of the shadow space. The sparkling black jade instantly turned grey and cracked into pieces. In a separate cubicle, rich shadow energy floated and was quickly extracted and poured into the Yama Ghost King's body. During the whole process, Ayan didn't lose a single strand of energy. The shadow space itself was the largest energy reserve pool. Su Hao had long stored various materials there for Ayan. He wasn't afraid of having insufficient energy supply for Ayan when breaking through at all. Therefore, even if Ayan was currently absorbing energy at a rapid improvement after breaking through, it didn't need to be restricted by the limited energy in the field. With a simple gesture, countless shadow energy surged out allowing it to form a ghost claw that blotted out the sky. It was twice as big as before the breakthrough, and the density of the energy was incomparable. It easily tore apart the grey gold light that was dozens of meters long. The ghost claw slashed forward as if there was nothing in its way. Space buzzed and shook. When the steel god soldier saw this, it didn't dare to continue the fight. The courage it had been trying to maintain for so long was based on the fact that black-robed Sprite's aura would be chaotic after failing to break through. However, at this moment, not only was the Yama Ghost King not weakened, it even succeeded in breaking through. How could anyone expect it to be able to keep fighting? When the black-robed Sprite was only a pseudo-monarch, it was already hard for the Steel God Soldier to defeat it. Immediately. The steel god soldier flapped its steel wings, and the grey figure turned into a stream of light and flew far away. In the blink of an eye, it flew hundreds of meters away. Its steel wings weren't good for anything except for the extremely fast speed, not at all inferior to wind element sprites that were good at flying. However, its opponent was Ayan, the Yama Ghost King, the ruler of shadow. With a shake of its black robe, its entire figure disappeared into the shadows and disappeared. In the next moment, it appeared in front of the steel god soldier, which had already escaped two to three thousand meters away. The ghost god claw blasted down. It swatted the steel god soldier down from the sky like it was swatting a fly. Boom! The steel god soldier was smashed down, blasting a huge pit in the reddish-brown ground. But right after, the ghost god claw pressed down again from the sky. 
boom. Hundreds of meters of ground cracked, and a circle of soil and rocks exploded. Countless fire pillars spewed out from the ground, but were instantly swallowed by the power of the shadow. After a while, when the energy of the ghost god claw was exhausted and disappeared, what appeared on the ground was a huge ghost claw imprint. In the deep imprint, dark shadow energy that was as dense as black smoke drifted. It was extremely cold. But at this moment, the body of the steel god soldier was nowhere to be found. Its aura had also dissipated. A mighty monarch rank isn't that easy to kill, it was probably summoned back to the city. Monarch rank life force was extremely strong. If the sand earthworm dragon didn't self-destruct back then, it could have at least stalled for a while longer. A while earlier, the sprite trainer of the steel god soldier had sensed that something was wrong and immediately called his sprite back. Su so Hao was quite glad that the other party did this. Gurgle. Butterfly waved its hand, indicating that it had already planted its mark. The location it sensed was about 14 to 15 kilometers southwest. But soon. Gurgle. Its little face puffed up, looking a little angry and serious. Butterfly was slowly losing its connection to the imprint planted on the steel god soldier, and it was already becoming very difficult for it to sense the imprint's exact location. This dark society heavenly king isn't as weak as I thought. At this moment, several kilometers away from the lava fire cave, a miserable looking steel god soldier appeared. It was only after communicating in person was the Dark Society Heavenly King able to learn about the more detailed battle process. The Dark Society Heavenly King's expression couldn't help but become solemn. What exactly is this black-robed sprite? Why does it have such terrifying battle power? He looked to his side. Apart from the Steel God Soldier, the Heavenly King of the Dark Society also had another monarch sprite, the Titanium Wolf. This was a werewolf sprite that stood on its feet. Its grayish-white fur was also erect like steel needles. Its body wasn't big, only about two meters tall, but its sharp orum made even steel god soldier fearful. Titanium Wolf was the true trump card of this dark society heavenly king. If the Titanium Wolf and the steel god soldier join forces, they can kill that black-robed sprite. However, the appearance of the black-robed sprite was very sudden. We can't rule out the possibility that a heavenly king from the Union is hiding somewhere. This might be a trap. Even if the Dark Society heavenly king thought that the probability of a heavenly king hiding in the dark was only 20 to 30 percent, he didn't want to take this risk. It wasn't worth it. For safety reasons. He looked at the titanium wolf. The titanium wolf grabbed the arms of the steel god soldier. Golden light seemed to shoot out of its sharp eyes, and its sharp aura continuously attacked the steel god soldier like a tide. One second passed. Ten seconds. Thirty seconds. The titanium wolf only stopped when the steel god soldier's armor made cracking sounds and its body felt a little painful from the sharp aura. Let's go. The Dark Society Heavenly King said. He ordered the steel god soldier to fly towards the west while he himself laid on the back of the titanium wolf and hurried towards Red Rock Town. In the center of Lava Fire Cave, a Yan's figure fell from the sky, its black robe fluttering. Even though it had restrained its aura, it still made the applicants shiver. This sprite? Who? A Yan lowered his head like a child who had done something wrong. It shouldn't have let the Steel God Soldier escape. It's not your fault. Su so Hao patted its robe and stopped Ayan from moving into the shadows. Then, he looked at the applicants. Wait here for a while. I'll come back after making a trip to Red Rock Town. Come, mount. He snapped his fingers. Dumb unicorn's figure appeared. A cloud supported its body and shot into the sky with a whoosh. For this trip, apart from the dumb unicorn, Su so Hao only brought Butterfly, Ayan, and the other sprites stayed behind to continue guarding the crow's advancement ritual, or to catch the fleeing Black Association sprite trainers if any of them went their way. Su so Hao stood on the cloud and flew towards Red Rock Town. The blue-white cloud gradually changed its color. 
As dumb unicorn flew, countless scenes flashed behind it. In less than three minutes, Red Rock Town appeared in their vision. It was still bustling with people coming and going. Su Hao looked at the world entrance. The inspector badge in his hand shone brightly. Given the special circumstances and as the inspector, I order for the Red Rock Town to be sealed shut. Chapter 385, Big Boss Level Reinforcement is on its way. The colorful cloud flew past the sky above Red Rock Town and headed straight for the Defender residence. Everywhere it passed, the aura of the dumb unicorn, which was traveling at full speed and hard to restrain, blew past like a hurricane, causing many sprite trainers in the town to look up in shock. But before they could see anything, the colorful cloud had already flown far away. The association of sprite trainers stationed here looked as if they were about to face a great enemy. Their sprites looked up at the sky while crying. And right then, Su Hao's voice was transmitted through psychic power into the ears of everyone in the Defender residence. Many guards were stunned. An order from the inspector? They hadn't been notified beforehand, so they didn't know what to do for a moment. In the residence, a certain quasi-heavenly king sprite trainer who was handling official business raised his head. Inspector. Inspector. He was suddenly shocked. With a few steps, he crossed the windowsill and jumped down from the third floor. He said to another sprite trainer who was walking over briskly, Once the inspector order is out, it means that something big must have happened. I'll go and clarify the situation first. Go back to Planet Aquamarine and inform Defender Yang immediately. As he spoke, he instantly summoned a Hell Warhorse which brought him to the Defender residence. At this moment, Su Hao had already landed on the ground. The dumb unicorn was stepping around in its surroundings, scaring many elite level sprites. Su Hao was waiting. He wasn't supposed to just break into the Defender residence. Apart from creating more chaos, breaking in would accomplish nothing. Su Hao believed that his transmission just now had already reached the ears of some capable people, and that was enough for him. He wanted to attract attention as quickly as possible and seal off the entire realm to prevent the Dark Society Heavenly King from escaping. And then, he would be able to find and capture the other party. He wasn't going to allow his opponent to escape after his sprites had taken a beating. Steel God Soldier, but wasn't I the one who took the beating? Before long, a middle-aged man with the dignity of a superior came riding a fell's teed. You are. The middle-aged man quickly noticed that Su Hao was holding the inspector badge in his hand. Verification passed. His expression became solemn. Please come to the Defender residence to have a chat. There's no need. Time is of the essence. Let me make this short. Su Hao listed two points concisely. Dark Society. Heavenly King. At this point, Ordinary elite sprite trainers had already been driven away, but even the master level officials that remained in the Red Rock Town were still shocked when they heard this news. Master level experts from the Dark Society. And there's even a Heavenly King. Yes. To put it bluntly, such a lineup was enough to overturn Red Rock Town, but they, actually hadn't noticed their presence at all. This was negligence on their part. It was also very dangerous. Why, why don't we wait for Defender Yang to return before sealing it? Right now, there's only the Flaming Divine Hound guarding here. The people at the Defender residence were worried. But by the time the Heavenly King who had gone on vacation returned, the Dark Society Heavenly King would have long escaped. Do it right now, seal it immediately. As for the Dark Society's Heavenly King level, I'll deal with him. Su Hao's gaze swept across them and some master-level sprite trainers couldn't help but lower their heads. The order was quickly passed down. The people in the Defender residence didn't directly announce the news of Dark Society Heavenly King immediately. Instead, they temporarily closed the world entrance with the excuse that Red Lotus Corporation was transporting large amounts of goods. The various city gates of Red Rock Town were still open at this moment. The official organization of Red Rock Town quickly took action. Dark waves surged in the town. 
Su Hao himself activated the butterfly card's detector. The constantly improved spiritual perception spread out and enveloped the whole town. Su Hao quickly checked. At the same time, he was able to sense the mark left on the steel god soldier. It was very thin. Butterfly could only vaguely sense the existence of the illusion imprint and couldn't sense its exact location, but it could still determine the approximate distance. Gurgle. Butterfly poked Su Hao on the head, indicating that something was wrong. It told Su Hao that the Steel God soldier was not in Red Rock Town and was definitely very far away. Could it be that the Dark Society's Heavenly King doesn't intend to escape from the world entrance? Or does he want to wait for things to calm down before escaping? After all, the world entrance couldn't be sealed for too long. But with a big fish here, he should know that the Union would definitely send reinforcements. The longer he delayed, the higher the possibility of being discovered. In comparison, as long as he could enter planet Aquamarine, he would be basically guaranteed safety. Hmm. Gurgle, gurgle. The antennae on Butterfly's head straightened and beeped as it pointed in the five o'clock direction. It indicated that the Heavenly King was at the periphery of the town and had just returned. The reddish-brown land stretched as far as the eye could see. There was only a bustling town standing here, with people coming and going. On the ground, a golden figure flashed past, raising smoke and dust that filled the sky. It wasn't until this golden figure was approaching the town did the figure finally gradually slow down. It stood on a mountain peak and looked sharply at the figures coming and going in the town. Something's wrong, something's very wrong. With the help of the Titanium Wolf's visual input, the Dark Society Heavenly King realized that the people in the town seemed to be looking for something. The golden figure deduced that the black-robed sprite must have arrived at Red Rock Town earlier than they did. We can't force our way in. It's too late. The black-robed sprite is already a monarch rank, and there's also a heavenly king guarding Red Rock Town. I won't get any benefits from attacking the two. He was also quite decisive. The titanium wolf's figure disappeared with a whoosh, running deep into the wilderness. At the same time, somewhere in Dragon Nation. Heavenly King Defender Yang, who was on vacation in his beach shorts, suddenly heard his wristband beep. He raised it up and listened. What? All right, I'll go right away. Keep calm, what do you mean you can't control the situation? Tell that young man not to be rash. Heavenly King Tear isn't that easy to deal with. Wait for me for 30 minutes, no, 20 minutes. As he spoke, he summoned a fire god soldier with horns and armor. Grabbing onto the fire god soldier, he turned into a dazzling line of fire and disappeared into the horizon. In the magic city, at the association of sprite trainers. What, a big fish? All right, all right, I'll contact Heavenly King Senior right away. After hanging up the phone, the vice president of the magic city guild appeared very excited. With my guild's Heavenly King Senior, the defender of Red Rock Town, and the young inspector who I heard is able to rival a monarch sprite. These people will be enough to kill or even capture a high-level member of the Dark Society. This will be a huge achievement. He immediately contacted an honorary president of the Demon City Guild. After thinking about it, he decided to send a 10-man master-level team to Red Rock Town to provide support. At this moment, in Red Rock Town, the big fish has already appeared. I'll leave the remaining small fish and shrimps to you guys to hunt. Su Hao said. A blue and white cloud appeared from under his feet and lifted him up. In an instant, the dumb unicorn neighed neigh and drove the white cloud into the sky. He left behind the middle-aged sprite trainer who wanted to say something but couldn't. How energetic. Wait, I have to ask the flaming divine hound to go and provide support immediately. White clouds drifted. The earth was vast. Smoke and dust billowed at the end of Su Hao's vision. On a closer look, Su Hao could see a small black dot running at an extremely fast speed. It's a titanium wolf, and it seems to be a monarch sprite with extremely high growth. At the same time that Su Hao saw the other party from afar, the Dark Society Heavenly King, 
a man with a high nose bridge and a gloomy expression, also discovered Su Hao. The titanium wolf looked back sharply. It's you. How dare you chase after me alone? The shady man grinned sinisterly. Let me show you just how powerful a real heavenly king powerhouse is.